Welcome, or welcome again, exploration lovers and jade friends. I am JP, professional mineral exploration geologist, jade carver, and this time, one of your hosts for Revealing Sky Jades. In our previous video, The Quest for Sky Jades in Wyoming, we touched on and shared some elements of the exploration process, going from exploration concepts to the field recognition of a jade bearing zone, and to the actual rough or raw stones themselves from ideas to jade. In Revealing Sky Jades, we'll take this a step further and answer other common questions I've often been asked, starting with, how does one carve jade? However, for carvers looking with interest at some of the sky jade material, their questions may be, how uniform is the jade from this new discovery? What are its final work colors, its workability, its ability to polish? and what do recoveries look like from the rough material. We have selected two of our 2020 samples to walk everyone through this process. From stone planning, design, actual carving, and finishing of products ranging from bangles to beads to bee discs. But first, our second host today on the carving side. I am pleased to introduce Shane Hauser a three-time silver medal award winner at the prestigious Sujo Zigambe International Jade Carving Competition and Exhibition. That is where I've had the pleasure of meeting him and competing with him twice thus far. Thanks for helping, Shane. Up to you now. My name is Shane Hauser. I'm a Canadian jade artist and I've been carving jade for 12 years. I was introduced to jade while traveling New Zealand in my teens, and I've since spent the better part of a decade traveling the world to acquire the skills and knowledge that I use in my carvings today. From California, under master carver Don Salt, British Columbia, under Deborah Wilson, to Suhai, China, at the Huyateng Jade Carving Factory, as well as in Suzhou, China, under a well-known master carver. I've carved a lot of historic Wyoming jades in my career, and I'm really excited to be part of the testing of the new sky jades. But first, here are some of my previous works. Well, Shane, here it is. There's some of the Sky Jades from 2020 sampling. Really glad you could join in and help us do this evaluation. Thanks for having me. It 
It's a long way from Suzhou. It's nice that you don't live too far from where I do. Now, one of the questions I get asked all the time is, how do you carve jade? And kind of have a stock answer, which is with infinite patience. Do you have a stock answer? Yeah, I do. Diamond tools and lots of water. Well, fair enough. But ultimately, it comes down to your selection of stone and your objective with that stone. Gotcha. Well, we've got quite a few rocks here. Now, in July 2020, when we extracted these samples, you know, this one came out in two parts. Don't know which one we'll use yet, but what that allowed us to do was cut a piece that came out of the middle and have a good look inside the stone. See that it had very nice translucency, uniform color, very fine grain, interesting white rind on the edges. So how would one plan to evaluate this? I'd like to start the evaluation with with three of the items out of jade that most people will see. Bangles, beads, and pendants. Right. And, it, and this, don't, this stone already shows quite a bit of promise. There's a, a very fine grain you can see from the fracture line and a, a very interesting chalk skin that could be used as well. A bit. I'd like to start with a bangle, right. a bangle cut line, and from there you can see the inside of the stone more what you're working with. Right. And then use everything around the bangle and, and even the inside of that bracelet bangle core to make the pendants. And of course, there's, there's no waste. All right. Now, if we get those done and we'll see how they polish up. Is it shop time yet? Let's go. You lead. I'll follow.
A carver's task in working stone can appear relatively simple. The task is to allow light to enter the stone, showing its true natural beauty. On a broken or rough surface, there is a large amount of light interference and scattering, which hides the nature of the material. In theory, this is what the light scattering looks like. In practice, rough, such as the rough sky jade blanks that we show here, is where the carver starts. It's through the grinding and sanding and polishing process that surfaces are smoothed, allowing both for consistent reflection of some light rays, as well as absorption of light by the stone itself, lighting up the stones from within. From theory to the actual change in stone appearance when the rough has been sanded and polished. While the task of carving is relatively simple in itself, it is the skill of interpreting the rough gemstone and its hidden characteristics that will guide the carver in choosing both appropriate techniques and designs to reveal or amplify the desired stone attributes. Once our bangles were done, we chose a variety of designs to show how one can carve the bangle cores specifically to enhance either the texture, color, or translucency of the material. From our two bangle cores, we finished five pendants, four beads, two ear clips, and two pairs of earrings with finished product designed to showcase the Sky Jade's carving potential. As part of this test, and as a special tribute to Wyoming, I wanted to design special pendants. And for anyone who has been to this part of the world or checked the weather forecast, one definitely knows about the wind. In this next segment, we'll share the stonework that goes into such a pendant from rough to finished.
When approaching established marketplaces, like the Jade Market, with a new source of product, the more information that is available about the stone, the better. Of course, we test our exploration products with various techniques that confirm that our materials are true natural nephrite jades. Hardness, specific gravity, mineralogy, chemical composition are all critical components of this. The truest of tests, however, is to show what the raw gem material can be used for. We have now shown a representative range of what the Wyoming sky jades can look like in the form of bangles, pendants, beads and ear ornaments. This can offer critical guidance to parties potentially interested in working the material. So we are now in a position to comprehensively inform and educate potentially interested jade buyers about this product. And we can do that while getting ready to return to harvest additional materials from this jade bearing system on our Wyoming property should the demand support it. As always, we do hope you have enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it for you. Should that be the case, please do not hesitate to like, subscribe, and also share. Until the next time, Jade on.